question. What kind of bear is best? That's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. Well, that's debatable. There are basically two schools of thought. Fact. Bears eat beets. Oh. Bears. Beets. Battlestar Galactica. Bears do not... What is going on? Hey, Karen. Hey, Dwight, looking sharp. Yeah, that's because I'm your boyfriend, Jim Halpert. You look cute today, Dwight. Thanks, girl. How do I look? <sighs> Amazing. How do I look? Normal. Ugly. Out at a small hospital a few kilometers south of here. Get her back as soon as possible. I'll stall them. I guess that's it for you, Jim. All right, you know what? Let's do this. We'll be back. Oh, man, I'm so mad that Pam got hurt. Ah! Ah! I'll get it. How's it going? Well, he has gone from completely hopeless to simply miserable. Check this out, though. Spin serve. Well, it works like 80% of the time, so. Nice. So, should I schedule the rematch with Daryl now? I am ready. I'll make the call. Wait a minute. Daryl is the client? No, no, no. He works here, dumbass. Right. Spencer. Dwight, what is your middle name? Danger. Something with a K. It's Kurt. Wow, I'm so sad that I know that. What do I write under reason for visit? Concussion. What did you write? <clears throat> Nothing. I wrote bringing someone to the hospital. So you thought they meant your reason for coming to the hospital? No, no. You know what, Jim? This isn't about me anymore. Now then, do you have any special needs or dietary restrictions? Yes. We will be requiring a bedtime story. No. Not even Harry Potter? No, no. Jim, come on. But you promised. Most bags, now! And Harry saw the white hand raise its wand and felt Voldemort's surge of vicious anger. Saw the frail old man on the floor writhe in agony. Harry? It was over as quickly as it had come. Harry stood shaking in the darkness, clutching the gate into the garden, his heart racing. Did I ever tell you why I left Scranton? Yeah, I didn't think I had. Well, it was all about Pam. Yeah, I mean, she was with Roy, and uh, I just couldn't take it. I mean, I lost it, Dwight. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't concentrate on anything. And then weird stuff like food had no taste. So my solution was to move away. It was awful. And it is something that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. And that includes you. Dwight, this fits in the palm of my hand. You haven't blown them up enough. Why have you chosen brown and gray balloons? They match the carpet. What is that? It is your birthday period. It's a statement of fact. Not even an exclamation point? This is more professional. It's not like she discovered a cure for cancer. I can't believe how bad this looks. Are you trying to hurt my feelings? Because if so, you are succeeding. Hmm. Great cake. Thanks. All right. Now I think it's time for you to go. What? Oh, Jim, I thought we talked about this. You're cool, right? Kathy, go. Where's the bug? Awesome. Stand back! Stop it! We got this first! What is that? 
It's a compound of chemicals I pulled off of the maid's cart. Oh my god. Oh right my god. there. Oh god, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> oh, big one! Big one! Do I think I saw it? I think I saw it! Stop it! <laughs> nice job, I think you got him. You can't stay here. This place is a biohazard. Perry, I'll just bunk with Kathy. Second best banana sauce tribe I've ever had. Well, what's the first best? What about an authentic Pennsylvania Dutch Christmas? Drink some glue vine, enjoy some Hasenpfeffer. Enjoy Christmas with St. Nicholas's rural German companion, Belschnickel. Yes, that, that, that. Definitely doing that. Are we all in agreement? <laughs> oh, judgment is nigh, for the Belschnickel is I. Yes, he is finally nigh. I am nigh! Jim is my enemy, but it turns out that Jim is also his own worst enemy. And the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So Jim is actually my friend. But because he is his own worst enemy, the enemy of my friend is my enemy. So actually Jim is my enemy. But now if you'll excuse me, I have a date with Destiny. And from what I hear, she's a oh! Uh, help! Help! Oh, gross, don't lick my hand. God, why is there so much saliva? All I had to do was think about pie, and my salivary glands did the rest. Gross! Ah! What, 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 what? Oh, God! Jim! Oh, my appendix! I'm sorry. My wound hasn't so healed sorry. yet. I'm sorry. Oh, man! I'm so sorry, I forgot. You all right? Uh. You okay? What are you doing? Oh. No, 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 no. This, no, and this is down. Done this, ram! Oh. Oh. Anything else you need to talk about? Nope. I think that was it. Once again, it's showtime. What baffles me is how you could take a perfectly good idea, which the great Joe Bennett rightfully signed off on and then utterly botch it in execution. If I may speak to that, I have only been vice president of this project the last half hour or so. The man you want is Dwight Schrute. I don't see Dwight. He clearly had the infinite wisdom to stay as far away from this clown show as possible. <clears throat> Dwight Schrute is manager! <laughs> Brava! Brava! Woo! Cree Bratton is the new manager! Congrats. What's going on? Dwight's the new manager. He freaking did it. Congratulations, Dwight. Pam. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you, Jim. Hey, helper! Hey. Right! Ah! Right! Go! Ah! 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 <coughs> Pam, please call security. The minister just told me that it's tradition for the bestish mensch to be older than the groom. Oh, come on. I've never heard of such a I thing. I haven't heard of it, obviously. But I'm out because I'm significantly younger than you. Not significant as a big well, word. I think, I think you're... Well, okay. Either way. Either team. way. Dwight, I can't be there for you. I'm sorry. Jim. I just really wish there was something I could do.